Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Francisco Ramos. I'm a stand-up comedian and actor. I, uh, I was born in Venezuela, guys, but uh, ever since I moved to California, I became Mexican. <laughs> so uh, I think moving here, it gave me the experience of having the two cultures that I talk about in my stand-up, which is, you know, kind of like growing up here in, uh, as, a land, as an immigrant, you know, and trying to learn the language, you know, trying to speak English with an accent and all the stuff that you go through. English is very hard to learn. Too many words sound similar. Like when I was growing up, I couldn't say the word focus. And I used to teach tennis to kids. So I go in to talk to the parents. I'm like, hey, welcome parents. I'm sorry to tell you that your kids uh, went out <laughs> uh, Brian Moreno, I'm an actor, comedian. I'm the in-house MC for the House of Blues on Sunset. Like my dad is an Italian Jew, okay? So well, th that means it's, it's very normal to hear my dad say, Brian, I hate your comedy, but at least you're not in prison. <laughs> My mom, like I say, she's from Bogota, Colombia. She didn't come to this country until she was 21, 22. Like, everything was very foreign to her. You know, when she first came to this country, she was putting eggs in the microwave. My earliest memory of realizing that my mom was different is her looking down at me, and she's like, Brian, now no matter what happens, if the police come, don't say a word. And I'm like, what? This is soccer practice. I, I don't even like soccer. Let's go play some video games. This is crazy. You know, and that was my first moments of realizing that, oh, my family's a little different. I should, I should probably embrace that or run from it, one of the two. I think I was introverted because uh, growing up, I don't know if like the Latin culture or my parents were just like, every time I did something, it was like, you suck, or kind of like, don't do it, you know? I remember one time I was singing and my dad's like, shut up, you have a horrible voice. And like, so I was like, oh, I guess I can't sing. So I was always like, kind of like, in a way, I didn't have that confidence until I started doing stand-up uh, or, you know, or improv. That's the thing that I started going like, well, I kinda, I'm kind of good at this. Hi, Francisco. Welcome to our annual review. So I'm very happy I've done this whole year. So I'm going to give you a promotion from your current boyfriend position to fiancé position. <laughs> There's so many Jewish comedians, there's so many black comedians, there's so many Hispanic comedians, so many female comedians, that it's not just about being that one group anymore. You have to appeal to larger audiences, and even within those subgroups, you have to find ways to distinguish yourself or differentiate yourself. Strippers and comedians, we have a few minutes to get a response from the audience. And if we can't get that response, we better be okay with giving some if we want to make some money. <laughs> it's not because you're a Latina comic, you're, you, want, you have to do Latino jokes. Like if you're a comic, you should be funny to whatever audience. Like I'm always, people always tell me, like I'm always gonna be a Latina comic because that's who I am, you know? You know, I, I was born in Venezuela, that's who I am. So I don't need to add more to that in order to be funny. I think if you're funny, you can play to any room and be funny. The Latino aspect is gonna, it's just gonna be a characteristic that I have. To me, it's about being real to who you are and, and what is meaningful to you because my Hispanic background it is important to me, you know, it's always been important to me, but that's not my defining characteristic. That's not my defining trait. 